So I'm finally back home. I took a bit of a break from spring cleaning my room as it was the labor weekend and we ended up going to this Filipino event in Palmerston North and did a bit of shopping and sightseeing. But now that I'm back, I'm here to finally face this mess, which as you can see, my room is not in tip-top shape. Um, I'm planning on doing a big closet clear out and organization because it has just gotten pretty bad, you guys. I'm hoping to donate some of my clothes and bedding and storing some of my winter clothes and swapping it with lighter clothes instead because it's officially spring over here. And hopefully once I've done all that, that really sets the momentum and then I'll be able to reorganize everything else that's in my room, including this cabinet, my storage bed, my locker, and also just some general cleaning for the rest. So let's get going. From experience, my mental health can really get affected by the environment that I'm in. In my opinion, having a messy room is equivalent to having a messy and cluttered mind. Studies have actually suggested that there is a link between anxiety and messy rooms, as well as the sight of clutter producing anxiety and depression in some individuals. So it only makes sense for us to make time into cleaning our bedroom or home. But if you are someone who isn't particularly affected by the messiness and looking for something else to help you clear your mind, then I recommend trying well-being apps such as Aura. I've been using Aura lately to help bring my mood up in the morning whenever I need to calm myself down to prepare my mind before an important event and also for sleeping. Aura is a new mindfulness and sleeping app which has recently won Best of Apple Award and used by over 7 million users worldwide. It is an all-in-one app for your well-being and sleep and has over thousands of meditations, stories, life coaching, and breathwork exercises. Aura's content is also widely used by hundreds of coaches, therapists, and storytellers globally. Aura has features such as white noise and ASMR that have really helped me a lot with sleeping. It's also just a very easy app to use. I love its sleek and intuitive user interface which makes me keep coming back on the app to use it. Unlike the other apps, I also found that Aura has a lot of variety and personalization features so you can really tailor it to your preferences. And not to mention, it is also a completely free app to start out and if you use my link, the first 500 people can get a free trial and exclusive 25% off. Thank you once again to Aura for sponsoring the portion of this video. film cameras and I just like had this obsession with buying them and I remember using this one which is really nice because it wasn't a manual film camera it was a digital one so it was a little bit easier to use but unfortunately don't use it anymore because there's no film developing store here anymore they don't really do it so it's kind of unfortunate I think it might Thank you any cooler than you are but when you're with me and you're half asleep and I can count Quick update, I've tried to separate the things that I wanted to keep, donate, and also to sell. So this is my donate pile, hopefully I'll be able to donate it. Um, That's my keep pile. And I have my selling pile, which I hope to sell on Depop because I think that these are mostly clothes that I haven't worn at all or have only worn a few times. I think they're still quite trendy and able to be worn. So if you do want to check it out, and you are from New Zealand, it's gonna be at Depop at Love Action, I think. Um, and yeah. halfway through i'm gonna have to clean up all the mess that's up there and then <laughs> clean up this mess i'm sorry that's so ugly but i have to clean this up as well but i don't think i'll end up showing that to you guys
lights were flashing It's a dead man's party for anyone asking We're daring, dashing, some punks laughing And we're alive, burning, crashing I'll find myself in another place To find myself in another place to So my storage has gotten out of hand here, I'm planning on getting rid of a bunch of products that are either empty or I don't even use anymore. I'm really exposing myself here with all of this junk, but hey, it's content. So if you can't already tell, I had to get rid of all of my plants because I've unfortunately unalived them all. I'm hoping to get some new succulents soon, but for now, I'll just change up my decor on top of my locker. So what I initially thought to be a one day deep cleaning exercise spanned to two days instead because I ended up getting tired from cleaning yesterday so I decided to continue on cleaning the next day. I honestly thought that I would have been able to throw out a lot more stuff that was under my bed but since I'm a box hoarder I felt like I still needed these boxes one day so that's something future Alyssa will unfortunately have to clean and fix. <laughs> So I also decided to clean my keyboard as I haven't done it in a while. I really recommend for you guys to do it too when you have the time as they can actually build up a lot of dirt and grease. I usually like to start off by blowing off the dust or just swiping it off using a keyboard duster. I then use a q-tip and some wipes to clean each of the rows Then lastly wipe each of the keycaps clean. <laughs> So darling, won't you fly with me To the rainbow, to the stars of the Milky Way Wanna to get all the stars you say We can make it by the morning, ooh 아침이 오기 전 오는 쪽에서 두 번째의 별을 돌아 또 바로 나는 내 나이 So darling, won't you fly with me Look
could be a sadness Maybe I could be something more Well baby it's always summertime When I'm with you that's not a lie Well maybe you could be my solace 